on day four at Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and we have the duplex that is making great progress. In fact, we are really on time with the duplex. We're excited about that. Um, we actually have the rough end complete, and we're looking at starting drywall here shortly. We're a little behind on the house. The weather was a problem for us here. When, uh, with all the thunder and lightning, uh, we had to stop all the heavy equipment. Our excavation got behind. The footings got behind. Uh, the poured walls. Everything got really behind. But we're catching up now. The framers are moving really quickly. We're starting to put the sheathing in. The trusses are going all in place. Uh, then we'll start. Uh, the rough end's going on right now, in fact. Uh, but then we'll start uh, to really see some progress go on the house here in just a little while. We are behind here probably four, four to six hours, uh, which is not too bad, really, from what they're telling us from Extreme Makeover. Um, sometimes houses get 36 hours behind schedule, so they're uh, feeling very confident about the progress we're achieving, and uh, they're very encouraged. So if they're encouraged, I'm encouraged because they've done it over a couple hundred times. Cold was a real problem last night. We had uh, lots of framers here on site. Several of them did not have gloves. So I was concerned about them. We sent several of them home. It was just too cold. Um, they couldn't work as many hours as I think they had, had hoped they would be able to. Um, so we had, ha had to put a call out for some more framers and some more framers have shown up and we are making some good progress now. There was a dip in volunteers last night and frankly I totally understand that. It was miserable out here last night. Um, and, uh, but they're, they're, they're going strong again and I just called down to volunteer check-in and asked whether we need uh, additional volunteers and they really think we're okay for now. Just really been, uh, been so uh, overwhelmed and pleased by this community support for this project. It's like an ant farm. It's very hectic. <laughs> The, the biggest challenge I think that we face is there's so many crews trying to do several things at once and staying out of each other's way is probably the biggest challenge right now. We've, uh, we've actually been waiting most of the morning because the, uh, the crews putting on the Tyvek have to finish their job before we can even start putting windows in the exterior walls. So we got here about 7 o'clock this morning and we've been pitching in doing other odd jobs, you know, hauling equipment, hauling lumber. I've always enjoyed volunteering on on projects like this and you know to be able to to take place on a construction project is even better so you know it's it's a great cause um, I'm just just happy to be able to, to help and make a contribution.